All right, folks, today we have a Pan International 250T that we're going to break down and put back together after we clean it. Let's start with taking the handle off. I can just pop this clip up. Like so. Then we can get this. You'll notice under here there's a washer, a metal washer. Okay, so that's that. Let's get this stand on. So I have this keep lifted here. We can remove these posts. And let's go ahead and remove this. This, this seat as well. Under there, there's this plastic piece. Nice looking. Gotta get that cleaned up if we can. And that's it, just like that. So we'll start with getting off, taking off the uh, the left side plate. And all the screws are the same size. Let's go ahead and finish breaking down this uh, left side plate. <clears throat> We're going to remove these. Dog. By raising them up off the post. Then I'll remove these uh, springs here as well. They 
just come up like that. And then we'll go ahead and remove the uh, the bearing out of there. I have a little tool that I use to get it out. Let's uh, pop out this spool and we will leave this for a minute. Then we'll get into the uh, the right side plate and then we'll come back to that. Let's go ahead and pop off this lug. So, remove the plug. And there's nothing else on this that we need to, to address. Okay, so let's loosen the screws for this plate here. these things out three four we're good and now we can remove the plate Lever off and then I'll open it. The bearing came out already, which is nice. But we'll get to that in a sec. Alright, so under here there's a washer that sits on top. Trying to be gentle with it. On top of the cam. And there's the bearing from the inside. And there should be another washer under there somewhere. It's inside there. So we just push down on this. get this broken down here this just came off of here that's the spacer where the handle sits so to remove this so the way I do it is lift this slightly and I use the, the knob to help me the 
that. Slightly lift this. Like so. And off it goes. It's not always that easy, but that's how I do it. Under here is a washer. The old versions of these used to have a leather washer. I think they're two things to one of the jag, which is a, I think it was 6155 or something, maybe 660. That comes out of there. And we're done with with that. So let's go ahead and get this bearing out of here. I'm guessing with all this grease it shouldn't be so difficult. It isn't. Good. So that's the right side bearing. You can see the you can see the different sizes, the left side and the right side. So now we're gonna take this out. These little pins here. Just push them in to get them out. And to get this out, we simply screw it up. Like so. Okay, now to remove the main gear, we need to unscrew these. Push this up, pop it out, and then it can come out. I may, I may need to put the handle on it. I was hoping I wouldn't, but I think I do. I need some leverage to, to get it out. Pressing down and it's not working. Okay, so I'll hold on to the handle. Okay, now we can take the handle off. Get that out of the way. And then push up on this shaft here. That'll expose this piece, pop that up first. And now you can pull the main gear off. Like so. Now let's go ahead and get the clicker assembly out. I think this. Okay. All right. So for the clicker. have a nut you have a washer and this is scored tactic uh Line ruler for a, a pen spinning reel, and then 
the clicker assembly. I'm not going to break this down because it doesn't really need to be. Uh, if you need to replace a port in here, you're better off replacing the entire clicker itself. So I'm going to set that to the side. And we'll go ahead and remove these knobs here. The way to do that is you pop the E ring out. And I'm going to do this downward so I don't lose it. Like so. This comes out. This stays in. This comes out. And the spring comes out as well. So just be aware of that. And that's that for the right side plate. Now we can get to the spool. <coughs> we just pull the pinion out. Like so. Let's get these washers out of there. Get those taken off. There's four of them. And this one was set up convex to concave, convex to convex, or, conca or concave to concave, which is a standard setup. Now to remove these bearings in here, we do the same thing that we did with the, the side, <coughs> the right side and left side plate bearings. Just pull it up. These are the same size as the right side. These bearings are the same size as the right side plate. There will be another one under here as well. Let's get this clicker plate off. Now this will just come up, just pry it up. There we go. Set that to the side and then we'll start on the other side, which is the drag. To get to the drag, you need to remove these four screws here. So let's get these accounted for, these four screws. And we can just put this to the side. And this is the drag. This is an HT, yeah, it's a fiber drag, so we're good there. Under there is a spring. This is the tension spring for the drag. And to break this down, we'll need to remove these screws to get the drag washer. Okay, so let's move that plate. Okay, off with this, and let's hope they didn't glue this on. Mm. I'll have to let that soak for a sec to get that. I'm pretty sure this is not glued on there. Uh, and if it is glued on, then somebody wanted it. It's not supposed to be. There's the other bearing coming out. And that's it essentially for breaking down a Penn International 50T. Get this
this all cleaned up and I'll come back to you for the reassembly. Okay, we're back. Good news is I was able to get off the as well as the, the drag off this other plate as well. Uh, they were just suction on by a lot of grease. It's kind of coagulating and locking it down or locking them together. We'll start with putting this drag system back in place. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so what I'll do is grease inside here where the bearing sits. Then I'll add some grease to this plate and I'll just rub it in with my fingers. some dry grease and add it to this fiber washer. So now we can add it to this plate and I will add some grease here as well. So now we can get this set on top. And the way I do it is I'll temporarily put in the bearing on this side and insert the pinion so I can get the spring centered properly. So let's do that. So, like that. I do add a little bit of grease inside here. Now I just push down, I'm keeping this pinion in. Easy, but this out <clears throat> finish tightening these down I 
and I do go from left to right or perpendicular. On these screws and that's that for the the drag system installed okay so let's do the uh, That's all we need there. Grease the cavity for the bearing. And I'm pretty much going to grease everything inside here. Now we can stick the bearing in, like so. And then we'll add grease to these as well, these springs. And also to the dogs, just a light coat of grease on these. good okay so to get the springs in get out of there we'll just angle it find a hole And now we can just take the dogs and drop them over there. And that's set. Now we can go to the click plate. Where the 
clicker will hit. Okay. <coughs> so let's get the, uh, the thing. After we're done, I'm going to show you a little trick with these lettering on how to refurbish this, bring it back to life, so to speak. Or I didn't forget the look, I'm just checking something out. Yeah, it looks good. lined up it's pretty real pretty okay let's get some screws Now let's go to the right side. So the first thing we'll do on the right side is put the these nodes back in. So for this, I will add some grease inside here and some inside there that'll transfer onto the springs and I'm sorry I meant oil not grease Stick a spring on. Work in the oil in. Work in the oil in there. And to get this on, it's not that difficult, even though it's small. Find the groove and push down. And that's it because that theoretically stays up like that always pressed against it so you don't need a whole lot of I'm just making sure it's in there same thing for this one just kind of work the grease in throw the oil in work the oil in there groove and push down we're gonna make sure they're down and they are oh that one was not it is now and that one was not oh well glad we got them in there there we go. And I'm going to do the, uh, the clicker. Click 
because we want to get there. I'm going to put a little grease around where this is going to sit. I'm going to add some blue inside here via this area right here. And then work it in by going back and forth. Add some in here. And that should be good. Then we'll get this stuck in through here. And what we want to make sure is that we get this set properly so that the So the uh, the knob is pointed in the proper direction. It doesn't need to be perfect. It needs to be here so that when you twist it up, it doesn't go that far back. So we're gonna move it over here somewhere. And I'm trying to find it, get in that groove. There's a a slot right there that it needs to fit into. That looks good. That looks good. Yeah, that's too much. I like that. Let's move it over a little bit. I don't want that. I like that. Okay, so let's take this washer in. Then we'll lock this down. Okay, so let's get the, the cam put in. We'll need this. I'll grease the inside of here and then rest the washer in place. This broad washer goes in here, like so. And this will sit through there. I'm gonna grease all these things up. Okay, and now we need to get these locating pins in as well. So the way I do it is, I'll get this in place like this, get that through, I'll just screw that in all the way, grease these holes right here. get this set in place like this. Then pop our pins in. stick our bearing in and that's that for that next we just take it like this 
drop it in place and now it's set then we can stick our lever on there and everything else let's go ahead and grease the inside of this up now we can add the rest of the pieces to the outside and the main gear we're going to get the main gear set in place first Just stick that in there. Like so. And that will go through here. So and it goes like that. Then we use this to lock it in place. We're not going to tighten this down yet. We're going to do it after we uh, uh, get a little farther, further in the process. But we do want to secure it now. Now we can get to the other stuff that is here. The little pieces that are missing here. This. Last washer is going to go there. Looking for this and this. So, this is the tension knob, and the way it sits is just like that. Then, we'll take this and pop that on. Okay, so now we can go ahead and get the lever on and get this looking like a reel. First, we'll stick this on there. I'm going to add a little bit of grease to the side. A little grease there as well. See if I can get down in there a little bit. Got our washer. Make sure it's fresh. Stick our lever on there. Like so. And then we can lock this down. By finding the groove, should be right about there. Then we can screw that in place. <coughs> and we're almost done. A few more steps to go and we're in business.
this. Okay, so now we can do the pinion. And for the pinion, I'll grease the entire thing. I'll also grease this side here where it comes through. Grease the shaft. And we'll grease these as well. It's more of a light coat than anything else. The way they're going to sit is concave to concave. So it'll be like a flying saucer. That's the standard position, but there's other ways you can you can set it. That's the way we're going to do it. Okay, now we have the the bearing in. This blue shaft will go through like that. So on with the clutch bearings or clutch washers and get the opinion gear through. We'll add more grease to this in a sec. But we're ready to set this into the left side plate and get this reel in the final assembly. Left side plate. Set that to the side. <coughs> and let's finish the rest of this up. I'm going to pop this off. Now we can just put this together and then work on the rest of it afterwards. So let's add the lug. I really should grease right here because these they do take a lot of water here. Like so. That's in. I'm going to hold it like this. Slot. There's a slot. And we will just hold it in a little bit over your free spool, which is over down here. And we found a slot where it sits. Right here. I'm going to move this down and work on the rest. I'll add my little bit of grease to these holes. This hole right here. I do need to lock down all the way because once I put the uh, the quarter ring on, I won't be able to access it. But the other holes here, here, and here, one of these areas, don't need to be locked down. Not until we get to the end of it. Okay, so let's get our screw in there. And we're going to make sure we get this set. Yep, okay. It's looking good. 
really trying to remember the name of this one. I'm gonna be hair, hair, and hair. So to do that, I always start with the. I always start with the. Uh, the center screw and I'm trying to find where it sits it sits like this I'm looking for a raised angle here is what I'm looking for which helps keeps it keep it set or sitting up so it should be like this I don't know if you can see that or not but there's like a little slope on this so I'll stick my Screw through there and get that screwed in. Not all the way down, but part of the way. And I'll take my spacers, pop them in. and get those screws in place. The shorter screw goes on the left side near close to the free spool. The longer screw goes next to the dragon, which is this one. I'm not locking this down because I still need to attach this knob to it. This might need to be a little bit looser. I'm going to get that. Okay, so now to attach the knob, I'm simply going to pop this into here. And I might need to loosen this all the way up. Let's get that out of there. screw in we're set then we'll take our cap get that on and our screw And now we can lock these quarter ring screws down. Make sure it runs well. It does. Okay, good. And now we can add the handle and then well let's add the fan first. Then we can add the heel to it afterwards. So the stand sits like this. Like so. I'm gonna add some grease to right here.
finish this up. Sleeve our washer and our handle. I'm gonna add a little bit of grease in here. around here all right so lock this down See how far off we are. I don't think we're that far off. May not be off at all. And that is that. That's how you, that's how you put together a pen National 50 T. Thanks for watching. Until next time, tight lines, and maybe I'll see you guys out there.